Hi guys, I'm just going to do a bit of a setup for the Masso on doing the tool table. It's been very confusing, I've been trying to get it sorted and I, I've been using Linux CNC and I use a Hamer 3D. And the Hamer, which is there, which everyone should know, um, is a wonderful device. And uh, it was all set up nice on Linux CNC, but on the Masso I've been having trouble setting it up, getting the right heights for the tools on the tool tables. So after much toing and froing and experimenting and not having much success, I uh, contacted John Lambert in Ohio in the US and uh, with his uh, uh, knowledge and so forth of what he's used with the Masso, he set me on the right path. and. Uh, so I've now got it sorted, so I thought I'd do a quick video on how to uh, to do it, uh, not using like touch-off uh, devices on the table and all that, or putting the nose spindle down uh, to get all that. So basically you've got to measure all your tools, obviously. So there's a, I've got a granite block and a tool measurer, but you can do it on your machine or you can do it, you know, with a touch-off. You've got to get your tool height, you know, the total tool height from using your, your tool height uh, uh, measurer or you can do it off the touch off on your um, uh, machine just to get the actual tool heights obviously I use the Tormac system so um, you're measuring from the edge here to the tip of the tool and you get that measurement and you put that in your tool table which is F4 so you can see my tool table here and um, I've got the Hymer in tool zero. Hopefully that comes out all right. I'm not sure about the focus. Um, the Hymer comes in at uh, tool zero, and I've got my other tools there, and that's all their heights. And it's in positive, not negative, like in most other software. And then the main thing you've got to do is, um, after you home the machine, of course, and I shall home the machine. Control, Alt, and home. So my machine's homing now. And, um, my Z axis. Y and the Z coming in. But the most important thing you must do, and you'll see how mine's saying tool 9 is the last tool used. The Masso remembers this even when you turn the power off. The last tool that was used in the last um, operation that you're doing. You've got to change this to tool zero. So you have to open the MDI screen, of course, which is Control M, and then you go tool zero space M6, which is tool change, and you want to go to the Hamer, yes. Okay, so now it says tool zero Hamer. Now you can do your touch-offs on X, Y and Z height and zero the machine on each one using Control X, Control Y and Control Z. What happens then is that everything is referenced to the Hamer on your Z height and all your tools in the tool table will be a correct height. So this is just a quick video to sort anyone out on that because I was having trouble with it. I couldn't get it right but uh, I've seemed to have it right now. I've just done a couple of test runs and uh, uh, it all worked pretty well. I'll splice in a little bit of video, but um, yeah, no, I'm, uh, I'm very happy now. So it's, it's working like a treat. So thanks again to uh, John Lambert and um, uh, his help. And uh, it was great. Thanks guys. Okay, I'm just um, doing the Z height on the, uh, on the Hamer and um, uh, for this particular job okay that's the Z height and then this stage is minus two five two two seven eight and then I hit control Z to zero that axis and do the same for X and Y. Okay, Y's done. So, oh, no, it's not. I 
bumped it. Okay, that's better. So Y is done. And if we have a look at Y, control Y, and that'll zero the Y axis. So all three axes have been zeroed now with the Hamer um, on board. Um, you'll note that the interesting thing is the Z height on the uh, on the Hamer, on the machine coordinates, is minus 102.638. And uh, if you added 151.983 or something like that onto it, uh, they were getting pretty close to the actual tool length of the Hamer. So uh, it's all just maths. Okay, uh, files loaded, and uh, let's see what happens. Let's see the run. Control S. Start from line zero. Machine goes home. And it says tool one. There we go, yes. Now let's see what happens. Cross fingers. Facing operation. Taking about uh, half a mil, 20 towels. Old super fly. Okay, here's the big test. Tool number nine, four foot, ten mil cutter. Let's see what happens. Enter. This thing is not, uh, there mustn't be a square of the block.